Hello children, welcome back to online edu classes. Today's topic is Mary Calm Never Say Die. I know children, you all are interested in different types of sports or games, isn't it? So here we are going to know more about our idol Mary Calm. Do you know what is her full name? No? Her full name is Mangte Chung Nijang Mary Kong, born on 1st March 1983, is an Indian amateur boxer and incumbent member of Parliament Rajya Sabha. Now, what is amateur? A person who takes part in a sport or an activity for pleasure and not for money. Incumbent a person who is currently in an official position. She is the only female to become world amateur boxing champion for a record six times. The only female boxer to have won a medal in each one of the first seven world championships and the only boxer to win eight World Championship Medals. Wow! So we have known about Mary Kong, isn't it? Do you ever thought of being a female boxer? She is one of the female boxer who has made India proud. Nicknamed Magnificent Mary she is the only Indian female boxer to have qualified for the 2012 Summer Olympics, competing in the flyweight 51 kg category and winning a bronze medal. She had also been ranked as the world's number one female light flyweight by IIBA. So, Mary Kong was nicknamed Magnificent Mary. She became the first Indian female boxer to win a gold medal in the Asian Games 2014 at Incheon, South Korea and is the first Indian female boxer to win gold at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. So, so many gold medals. Wow, what a wonderful lady, isn't it? She is also the only boxer to become Asian amateur boxing champion for a record six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times she was the champion. She was awarded the Padma Vibhushan India's second highest civilian award in 2020. So we have three important and prestigious award Padma Vibhushan, Padma Bhushan, Padma Shri. These, these, these awards are national awards and she received it in 2020. People used to say that boxing is for men and not for women. I thought I will show them some day. I promised myself and I proved myself, says Mary Com, who has proved that with tenacity and hard work, we can overcome obstacles, mistakes and setbacks along the way. Now, what is tenacity? The determination to continue what you are doing. So this is and something inspirational for us. That she thought I will show them someday. I proved myself and I proved myself and promised myself also. So if you are determined to do something and you have the focus on it, you can do wonders. Really. Hats off to you, Mary Kong.
The journey has not been easy for Mary Com, who has stormed her way into the predominantly male bastion and shown the world that boxing is not just the man's domain. Now, what is predominantly? Chiefly. And bastion? Something that protects a way of life which is in danger of disappearing. So, everybody used to say that boxing is a male dominating place means the, only the males can, males can participate how the female they can participate and win the game but she just rubbed all the lines there and she made her own way own path and secured the position right She won a medal in each one of the seven world. Mary Com is a sixth time world amateur boxing champion and the only woman boxer to have championships. Nicknamed Magnificent Mary, she became the first Indian woman boxer to get gold medal in the Asian Games held in 2014 in Incheon. Magnificent, excellent and scenario Description of possible actions or events in the future. Now read an interview where she talks about the position of women in India, her passion for the sport. Boxing was always considered a sport for men till you came around and broke the myth. But how much has this scenario changed after that? Do you now see more women come forward and take up the sport proactively. What is myth? A widely held but false belief or idea proactively by taking action to control a situation rather than just responding to it after it had happened. So here myth means some false idea or belief what people are believing from many many years back and proactively by taking action into control, right? So, she said that she has broken all the myth that the boxing is only for men. I think we need to change our attitude towards the sports itself. Not just women, as a nation, we lack enthusiasm in promoting some People of both genders. I don't mean to say that our authorities are not trying their best, but it's a difficult task given the needs of a developing countries like ours and the sheer geographical size of India. We aren't doing enough to promote sports as compared to other countries. So what is enthusiasm? A strong feeling of excitement or interest in something and a desire to become involved in it. So, she says that the, that women here, they have, they have this problem of this genders. Means the authorities are trying their best but other nations, other countries give more focus on sports than India. This beautiful family of Mary Kong. She has three sons. You can see her in the picture. How is boxing for women perceived by men? Do you think they are fine with women taking up stuff that has always been predominantly men's activity? Now the question is asked to her that... How do these men think about that when the women have entered their zone? Perceived, become aware or conscious, stuff, all the belongings, equipments. So how is the scenario by the men? Let me put it up this way. I was the only woman who had secured a place in the boxing team during the 2012 Olympics. By the grace of God and sheer hard work, I also won the bronze medal in the 51 kg 
fly wet event so she says that as i was started winning and grabbing all the gold medals so the men of my field they kept kept their lips zipped i strongly believe that my achievements will leave a mark on the society and help people realize that it's time they change their perspective and break the myth that certain sports are not meant to be taken up by women as women we can compete and win in any field of sports perspective your opinion or attitude towards something so she strongly believes and says that if women they take up the challenge they can face and they can just fly high to success it is it is never like that women can't do this or that if they have the interest to be in any sport women can be always be ahead of men here so this is the first part we will proceed with the second part i'll see you soon your homework is you have to write about a favorite sports person in a4 size sheet and paste his or her picture and submit it in the english activity portfolio this is a portfolio activity in teams you have to submit in portfolio section english activity am i clear children this activity you have to do it in portfolio you have to write about your favorite sports person whether men or women and you have to paste the picture of that person and submit it a big thank you to everyone those who have watched the video see you soon with the second part the interesting part of the interview which has been taken with mary com we will know more about her achievements her hard work and her dedication thank you children stay safe stay happy